Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm using this video to do a couple things. One, I'm going to show that I do in fact look at your comments. And if there is a good idea, and an, maybe an idea that I've thought of already, and just was kind of waiting to see if people wanted to see it to put it in, um, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, yeah. So, my most recent Gun vs. Zombie, uh, there's a comment in there by a good friend of mine, Keegan. Uh, thanks for the comment again, Keegan. Uh, he said that he would like to see a Zombies gun tier list. Like, the tier list of what I thought the guns were at the end of each Gun vs. Zombie. And... I had been thinking about doing that. I didn't really know how to set up a tier list because sometimes I feel like I'm technologically disabled or just don't think a lot. And But I've, I've wanted to do that. I've wanted to do a tier list of these guns because I figured it would be easier, like a ranking system. And I've done exactly that. I created a tier list and I did some screen recording of me putting together the tier list so far because I'm not going to go back in and add it into all the all of the videos. So I figured I'd make a video like this to show what is going to now be at the end of Gun vs. Zombie videos. Uh, just to get it up to date so that it's not just like, hey, we didn't see what the other ones were before the next Gun vs. Zombie. So, yeah, that's what this video is. Me making a tier list of the guns I've used in Zombies so far and have put up on this channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first things first is obviously needed a baseline. And my what better than the first gun that I used? And it's the M1911. Uh, I'm actually looking at my screen recording right here to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the M1911 was, I mean... Good for a pistol, realistically looking back at it and watching that gun versus zombie back again. Um, and it was it was pretty pretty good in the grand scheme of things, but it was average. Uh, so I thought it would be a perfect baseline that it um, it wasn't able to get an X fill. It was fun to use, I believe. I it was weird looking back at that video because it was such a it was a different kind of way of doing the gun versus zombies before I figured out what I really wanted to do with it. And I ended up putting the M1911 in a C tier, and I think that's a perfect place for it. I think that's a good, a good middle ground gun to start with. The next gun that I felt the rank was, I mean, I felt pretty obvious about. It was the Python, the um, Magnum. Dog shit weapon, deserves F, and then after that I figured it was just easier to do the guns that I knew for a fact were going to go places. So obviously you have your Gallo and your Hauer being god tier, S tier, gun versus zombies weapons, um, just god tier guns in the entirety of the game. So those were pretty easy to do, those three I knew the Magnum sucked donkey boner. And the other two gave me shivers down my spine, legs, and base, and shaft of my penis. But that is how it is. Uh, that was weird of me to say that. I don't know why I said that. Let's just move on. Forget that I even said something. The next gun to go in on the list is going to be the next pistol that we did after the M1911. And it's the Diamati. Uh, the Diamati, as I put in my video, I said that it was the best pistol that I used. And that rings true. So if it's better than the 1911, it only deserves nothing less than the B tier. I thought it was a fun weapon to use. I thought it was a good weapon to use. It was again the best pistol that I did uh, go that I that I had the pleasure of using. So why not? It's it's a very viable weapon. It it works. So put it in the B tier. Basically, with these guns, I put them in order. I went in the order of which I dropped the video. So the next weapon that is going to be entering in on this tier list is the XM4. And this one I had difficulty with. I didn't know whether to put it as an average weapon because I kind of do feel it's an average weapon. But then again, it is better than the 1911, I thought. So I waffled for a good minute, minute and a half on where I was going to put it. And I ended up putting it in the B tier. Because 
it is better than the 1911. So, I mean, the same premise why I put the Diamati up there. Got to put the XM4. Can't, can't switch up my judgment pattern on that. So I had to do it. And then with kind of the foundation of what I, like, what to expect with some of these guns, the foundation that I used on putting all those ones first, it was, the rest of the list was fairly easy. Originally, I ended up slotting the AK in at a B tier, but then through some kind of consideration and going back and looking at that other gun versus zombie, I really convinced myself to move it on up to the A tier. It was almost that God tier weapon, but I mean, it was honestly at the lower end of the A's. So it was it was easy to bump it up one, but I just couldn't justify anything higher than that. Next up was the Krig 6, and this was one of the more recent ones. And it was, I mean, it was average. It was disappointing a little bit. So this one I waffled between C tier or D tier for a little bit. Yeah, I slotted it in the C tier, and honestly, I think there was a justifiable case for why it could go in the D, but I just couldn't force myself to put it in the C. Uh, QBZ after that, the final one that I did, was also a pretty easy one to slot in there. It was better than the 1911, and it definitely was better than the Krig 6, but it wasn't as good as the AK, so I think it was slotted perfectly right in at that B tier. So, yeah, that is the uh, quick little synopsis of what the tier list is going to look like. This is, will be added in from now on. Um, at the end, after the X-Fill for the Zombies gameplay and for the gu Guns vs. Zombies, starting with the next episode of Gun vs. Zombie, which will be finishing up the Assault Rifles, and it will be the FFAR. I think I'm going to hold off and do all of the added weapons at the end, but then again, I may just be lying, and the Groza may come directly after the FFR, or the FFAR, but I'm just going to have to wait and see on that one. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that like button. If you go and check out the rest of my channel and enjoy that as well, hit that subscribe button. Leave comments down below because as you can tell by this video, I do read them. I do take suggestions into account and I try to respond to as many as I can if there is a suggestion based off of it. And yeah, that's really all I got for you for now. And hopefully I'll be able to see you in the next one. Peace.